So today I got my new tubes in. So we're gonna swap out these old fork tubes to this portion of the suspension. I kinda already broke this one down, but I figured I'd show you guys how to take this one apart. So there's a cap right here. We're gonna unscrew. That's gonna release the spring on the inside. There we go. Cap comes off. Pick that up. I'm gonna take this over here. Pull the spring out. Obviously it's got fluid and whatnot and everything else in it. So we get rid of the fluid. Oh, this stuff looks disgusting. Perfect. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's disgusting. All right. Definitely had some water or something mixed with it. Which doesn't really surprise me. But anyway. Okay, so we got pretty much all the fluid out. Now to remove the tube, this portion, that is an Allen key, which I have around here somewhere. Okay, so to remove this part, it's an Allen key at the bottom. All right, so the bolt's loose. I had to put the spring back in to hold the, the lower retainer in place so I could take it off. All right. Pull the spring back out. And I'm gonna go over to this area to pop this free because it's gonna. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's water. Just straight water. Outstanding. Okay. We'll clean all this up before we reassemble. Okay. So now we've got dampeners, caps, lower legs. And these tubes. So these are my new tubes we're even putting in. So the dampeners just go right down inside, just like that. And drop them down all the way to the bottom. Shake them around some till they come out, just like that. This portion is going to go into these. Now we've got to make extended portions for the springs, right? Because the springs are only designed for. Tubes are like this long, so we're gonna make a spacer that goes up here. Okay, so I got both the tubes laid out here. Dampener's already on the bottom. We put a spring in each. All right, each one's gonna get a spacer. Then we gotta put the caps on. So this is the fun part. You have to sit here and like press down crazy hard on these things to get them to pop in. So And you just reinstall.
plug on the bottom. That's it. I'd put ATF in them for sure. All right. 